Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, today it was time to go back into the classroom. That was the case for me. This time it was the third graders at Perigrin Elementary School and uh, had some great weather questions regarding the seasons and how they change. We talked about measuring the weather accurately right now so that we can make a forecast with tomorrow and beyond. And of course, as you just saw there a moment ago, got to do a couple of weather experiments to help show how meteorologists do all of this. Well, starting tonight for this next six nights, We'll be talking on Fox 9 News at 9, answering questions regarding the sun, the earth, and how they interact to make our ever-changing weather. We'll be doing that tonight, starting tonight, if you want to check that out, in my special weather segment coming up tonight on Fox 9 at 9. Well, let's take a look at what happened with the time lapse today. Notice how this morning we've got the clear skies. Yesterday we had cloud cover, but as I put this into motion, you'll see what appears to be high-thin clouds streaming across the sky. And right in here, that's really smoke again in the air. We still have some smoke lingering in those upper elevations, but really the blue skies winning on out, not noticing it too much today, and mostly sunny skies throughout the day, turning out to be a nice afternoon. If you don't mind the heat, one last gasp of summer. It will still be warm tomorrow, but this is the hottest day we'll have of the week. Traffic running smoothly in Napa on I-84, looking at the water tower here at the clear skies behind. Temperature still sitting. Look at this. Actually, it's gone up now 94 degrees. I didn't think we were going to pop up the extra two degrees. It is 94 right now. Not only a 90 degree day, but getting closer to a 100 degree day. Not going to happen, but the record high, I believe, I've got to check it again. It was either 96 or 98 set in 2011. I'll update you on that. So it's dry outside. Winds are calm, and it is downright hot right now. And Payette Lake, beautiful conditions, a little haze, a nice southerly breeze coming in. The southerly wind is going to stick with us until a cold front comes through tomorrow night. That's where the winds will shift to the west. But we're talking 81 degrees in the lake right now, and here we are in autumn, and it is still very warm in the mountains and hot in the valley. Here's your 94 in Boise, 92 in Twim, the hottest weather right across southwest Idaho. Look at it cooling to the west. It was 84 in Roseburg yesterday. Today, only 64. That cool air, we're getting a lot of rain here. Everything is migrating this way. The leading edge of rain will come toward us, and then it will break up. And tomorrow night, we have just a slight chance for a shower after dark or even in the evening tomorrow. That will disappear. But behind that, there's another system moving in that is likely to give us some issues. And we'll call it over the weekend. 90 in Ontario, 94 in Mountain Home as well, near 80 in the mountains to the west. There's that band of moisture, that rain that's been falling here. It's pushing a little further to the south now, southwest portions of Oregon, northern California as well. But we still have the clear skies across the Treasure Valley here. Here's the big storm system sitting and swirling offshore. This is going to continue to drop to the south. The leading edge of the cooler air is here, and so we'll get some cooling. Even starting tomorrow, we'll be down to 84 degrees. And then on Friday, we'll go into this weather, where I think we'll just stay partly cloudy during the day with a slight chance of showers coming in Friday night. And then it is this system right here that moves in over the weekend. Now the question is, where will it come in? It's going to go down to the south, but it's going to rotate moisture in our direction. This is always a very difficult call to find out exactly where that moisture is going to go. And so let's look at the latest computer charts to see what shows up right here. Here's tomorrow in the afternoon. We'll get sunshine in the morning. Some high clouds will then blanket the sky in the afternoon, much like yesterday. Not too much of a chance for a shower, maybe at night. That was Friday, just partly cloudy. This chart shows Saturday dry at 8 a.m., but then the moisture would swing in later in the day. So I'm saying now there's a chance we could actually get dry conditions coming in for the first part of Saturday, but I think there's still going to be a lot of rain some point between Saturday and Monday. Tomorrow, Indian summer moves away. The showers are not far behind. So let's sum it up in the forecast. Coming up for tomorrow for the Treasure Valley, over the weekend, we're going to be cooling down. But for tomorrow, we're still in the mid-80s tomorrow. Sunshine like today in the morning. Clouds in the afternoon, probably staying dry. A slight chance of a shower during the evening. 84 Boise and Meridian, mid-70s in the West Central Mountains and Long Valley. Around 80 in Garden Valley. Sunshine early. Breezy for a good portion of the day with a chance of some showers coming in during the evening, but again, it wouldn't be much. Beautiful weather in the East Central Mountains, Stanley, Sun Valley looking nice with sunshine a good portion of the day, while at the Magic Valley tomorrow, a similar story. Sunshine, 87 in Twin, 84 in Goodings with a breeze. My On Your Side extended forecast coming in with all those changes. We dropped from 94 today to 84 tomorrow to 75 on Friday. I don't think much precipitation for Friday. It is Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. At some point in there, we're going to get a decent amount of rain, maybe more than a third to a half inch that is of rain in most locations. The question is when, and I've got to time that weekend. Right now, we may end up being just dry and cloudy Saturday morning. 
But Saturday oh, wow. night and Sunday could be really wet. A lot I of outdoor events happening. Oh, there are. You're emceeing. Yeah. I'll be sometimes. keeping you updated on the timing <laughs> of everything here. Very important. Yes. Thanks, Scott. At the UN today, President Obama told the gathered leaders that the world is now at a crossroads between war and peace. Up next, Mr. Obama promises the U.S. will lead the coalition against terror threats.